Here we go, welcome. The Koshi chimes down. That's not gonna be the way to do it. Let's see. Reporting live from rainy Bushwick today. I like, but my apartment is so steamy. Welcome everybody who's coming in. Hi, Alicia. Jenna in the house. Pink sprinkles. Yeah, yeah, funny, I know. Um, cool. Welcome. Hi, Paint. <laughs> Thanks, Pink. All right, Shapiro. Hi, Anya. Hi, Dips Chima. Welcome everyone. You're joining us for our Thursday, used to be Tuesday, sound meditation. It's always at this time now unless we say so otherwise. And my name is Jackie Cantwell. I'm a sound practitioner who is located in Bushwick, Brooklyn. You can find me at it's Jackie Cantwell. It's on the bottom of the screen. And I see there's some newbies in the house. I'm so pumped you're here. If you've never experienced a sound meditation before, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what that even means and what's the difference between a sound meditation and a sound bath. And then we'll do some really gentle guided breath work. And then we're gonna go right into a sound meditation. And before we get started, at the beginning of every one of these sessions, those of you who know me and those of you who have been joining us for the past 34 weeks, you know that we always start by taking a second to shout ourselves out and celebrate ourselves for something. So today, what we're going to do is do that. And again, for those of you who join us every week, I'm really asking for you to show up as leaders inside of this community and share first if it feels comfortable. And we're just shouting ourselves out for something that we want to celebrate about ourselves. And that can be something super small, like we got a good night's sleep and took care of our bodies this morning, which is actually quite a big thing. Or it could be something huge, like I'm starting a new venture or a new business, or I severed ties with a messed up relationship. Like whatever the thing is, feel free to share on the bottom. And I will start to read out as many as I can. I have terrible eyesight, but I always do my best. Piece of Onion says I started a new job. Um, let's see what else we got coming in. I always like to share, start by sharing something that I wanna celebrate about myself too. And right now I'm really excited because I'm opening up a pop-up space in New York. It's gonna be open the month of September. And I'm doing it with a friend of mine named Caleb and it's all centered around sound and mental health. And we have just gotten enough funding to get the space and we have funding to do the marketing. So soon I'll be able to announce the name of it and where it is and everything. But I wanna shout myself out for just diving into this thing that feels really scary, but also exciting. And I know, and I know that it's gonna be something that's um, needed for the community. It's me, Danab says, I made myself a priority. Um, Alexa Nidra says a new business project. Ale Excel in but a dream says started a routine meditation. Bear with myself says started a business. Connect Art said yes to meeting someone new in support of my new business. Wow, so many amazing business ventures. I wonder if it's in the air. Robin Marie's in the house. She hasn't missed one in such a long time. I'm so happy you're here, Robin. Um, hello darling says I went to bed on time every day this week so far dude as someone who struggles with sleep I know how much that changes the game so that's so cool um psydoc for isu says round 33 chemo and kicking butt hell yeah Nebraska says hi from Avon Colorado I got on a gondola with my kids even though I'm so scared of heights I bet that meant so much to your kids that's really cool um, let's see, I can come back down to the bottom. A lot of congratulations to me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that support inside of this group. Um, 909 Paloma says, I want to celebrate myself for being a stay at home mom. I celebrate you back, honey. Um, C Docs Forest You says, that is so amazing. Um, Jess Jaded says, I'm getting better at working out and feeding my body. Fuck yeah. B season 65 says celebration on vacation, taking time off was needed. Oh my God, thank God for that. Taylor Matthew says I ordered the product for a website I've been working on. Cool, congratulations. All this new flowing energy in here. Twin Peaks Logue Lady says I didn't get into my fight or flight when my mom went missing this week. I remain calm, had hope, and we found her amazing. Wow. 
Paramore says caring for orphaned animals on my farm in Florida and that they love Bushwick. Very cool. Your authentic coach is glad to hear you're ready, Jackie. Thank you. Thank oh, your authentic touch. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you so much for that. Sun Sun Suniverse says loving myself. That's a major one. Jenny F. Bronx says hello, much love and happiness to everyone. We receive that. And Mari Mary says, I did a pool flip for the first time. Just got to try. That's right. James says, keep um, Lucadia funky and deep breath work to alleviate stress. Amazing. Purple Gal says, trying desperately to get my paperwork in order. There's so many incredible things that are coming in. Um, wow. Zoe says, I took my uh, step and put a house on the market in the UK. Thank you all for sharing these and being so real and so vibrant. I hope you can feel it when I'm reading these, that these are like real human beings from around the world that are experiencing things that they feel proud about and that they wanna shout out about themselves. And it's really true that in our culture, we don't often do that. Like even for the little things, or maybe we don't, we definitely don't often share them with strangers. So I just want you guys to feel the power in that when we're reading these things out loud, because if you can find ways to do that with your friend groups, or even maybe start a text message group with friends where you just use it to celebrate yourselves and nothing else, even like once a week or once a day or a WhatsApp group or an email chain, whatever the thing is, we've got to support each other, especially right now when we're feeling disconnected with all the crap that's going on and all the things we've been through as a collective traumatically these past two years, there is good stuff and it's worth celebrating. So today you find me in steamy Bushwick. It is hot in my apartment, but it kind of feels good. I feel like in my body and that feels nice. And today we're going to start with some guided breath work really simple stuff. If you've never done breath work before, don't worry. And if at any point during any of the exercises we ever do together, you feel like it's not for you, or you're feeling tightness in your body, or you're feeling it hard to breathe, take care of yourself, take a break. You don't have to do it. This is all suggested. We're really just here to build community and to be together and to practice together. So whatever I find you in today, whatever your practice is for you, make sure you take care of yourself. And then we're gonna listen to sound bowls. And I saw that there's some new people in the house who maybe are new to sound meditation. And we call it sound meditation and not a sound bath because even though a sound bath is delicious, it's when we're just fully zonked out and just absorbing sound, a sound meditation is different because we're listening to the same sounds, but we're using the sounds as a tool, just like we would our breath, just like we would a mantra to bring us back to the present moment. We're using the sounds as a tool to go deeper inside of ourselves, to really sit with the essence of who we are, because the more we do that, the more we sit with that version of us, that one that's in the quiet, the more that we have access to it outwardly in our day-to-day -day lives, and the more that we can show up as the authentic version of us instead of some masked, acting version that's just trying to like be the thing that other people want us to be. So that's what meditation I know does for me. And that's what sound meditation certainly has done for me. Um, I started doing sound at a really dark point in my life. And it was really the only practice that I found where I felt safe enough to close my eyes and go inside and to be with me. I was scared of like finding out who that person really was. So that's all I'm going to say about sound meditation for today. And to get started, you just need a seat that is comfortable to you. I'm sitting directly on the floor. Wherever you want to sit in a chair, on the couch, just find a seat that I always call upright but not uptight. And that just means that you are rooted and your shoulders are down and back and your energy is able to flow. If you're feeling extra tired or you have some other thing that makes you want to lie down, do it. Lying down is great for this practice. You can do a sound meditation and use sound as a tool even when you're lying down. So once you find that seat, you can go ahead and close your eyes and we're just going to get right into it to today. And once you close your eyes, just taking that first deep breath on your own, on your own time. And noticing right away where you're holding on to physically and letting it go. So let your gut hang heavy. We're not holding in for anybody right now. 
If you notice, and I'm noticing in this moment, that you're hunched over a bit, allow your shoulders to roll up and down your back and melt down, allowing your spine to become just a little bit more alert and erect with your head face towards the sky, the crown of the head. And taking another breath into that. And noticing any other areas of tension, like letting your feet or your hands go, unfurling your brow, removing the tongue from the roof of the mouth, unclenching the jaw. And as we prime that canvas to relax, noticing that your body begins to do so naturally. Noticing if in this moment you find yourself having a hard time becoming present and not judging it, just noticing it, noticing anything that's coming up in this moment and just allowing it to be exactly as it is. And together to get started, we'll take a few deep breaths and we'll start by exhaling all the air in our lungs with an SH on the count of three. One, two, three. Shh. Big inhale into the belly up into the chest, holding at the top, and letting it go. Big inhale into the belly, up into the chest, holding at the top, and letting it go. One more nice and easy into the belly, up into the chest, holding at the top, sipping in a bit more air, holding and letting it go. With your eyes remaining closed, you can allow your breathing to return to normal while I tell you about the next breathing exercise. And this next breathing exercise is called the four, seven, eight breath, and it's great for anxiety. It's great for really becoming present. And it's really helpful if you're having a hard time falling asleep at night. So for this breath, we'll inhale for four counts, hold for seven, and exhale for eight. But we'll start the same way we did those first breaths, by exhaling all the air in our lungs with an SH on the count of three. One, two, three. Hold two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one. Inhale, two.
pimples start to fade away gently easily bringing your awareness back into your body giving yourself a second to sit into exactly how you feel in this moment Taking a slow breath into your heart space. Sensing to yourself that you are not alone. Practicing a moment of gratitude for the chance to sit with hundreds of people from around the world. to feel connected to that and to them. And slowly on your own time, bringing your awareness and your eyes back to the screen. You're so welcome, Lena. Hi, Jess. Miss Fiali, counseling. For those of you who joined in the middle and were curious about what was going on, you just joined us for a sound meditation with Crystal Singing Bowls. Um, my name is Jackie. You can find me at It's Jackie Cantwell at the bottom of the screen. If you're curious about sound bowls and you wanna learn how to play, you would like to explore this more one-on-one -on -one or with a small group, or you wanna buy your own, you can reach out to me on Instagram. I can help with all of those things. And if you're not familiar, Chopra has an incredible app for all of your meditation needs, along with learning about Ayurvedics and your life's purpose. And it's just the Chopra app. You can find it in the iOS store. And for those of you who shared today, for those of you who showed up and tried something new, um, for those of you who were practicing gratitude afterwards by saying thank you, and I see all these amazing, um, amazing uh, messages coming in thank you for showing up and being you and being real um and for those of you who have been coming back again and again it's like we feel that in the room when there's when there's a community being built so thank you all so much i'm sending you so much love and gratitude and i will see you next week bye